Isaiah 31. The prophet Isaiah calls out Judah for their mistrust in God and their trust in Egypt, believing that Egypt was stronger and militant to fight their battles better than God. What? Could you believe that? The same God that brought them and their generations and ancestors before out of Egypt and save them from being slaves forever. Wait, isn't that us sometimes? Sometimes when we are faced with big issues and challenges, we can look through our phones and contact lists and find someone we know that might not be good for us, but we know that they're good for the help. Or we can use a method that isn't a part of God's plan to resolve an issue faster than praying and waiting for heaven to respond. It further goes on to say that God hovers over us as an eagle in the sky. He will protect and rescue. Like for me, I have trust issues. I really, really do. And because of that, if I see something not going my way, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If it's not going my way, I'm going to find another way to do it. Now, it might not be an illegal way, or it might not be the most conventional way. But I, I'm learning that, listen, let's see what God has to say about it first. Because you can be putting your effort and running after something that God never told you to do or that he never wanted you to have. Or he's trying to teach you a lesson while you're in the situation. So don't abandon the process. Whatever your Egypt is, whether it be a place, a person, an addiction, an action, an old habit, it does not have the power to transform your situation for the better. Keep your trust in Him. Keep your trust in Him. If this is you, take some time right now to repent for not trusting God's plan and His process for you. It may only seem like He isn't paying attention, but an eagle can see from very high up. He can see the smallest things on the ground. What do you think about our God? He sees and he knows. Wait on him and keep your trust in him. Today's challenge. Let me know, have you ever felt like God just was not on your run? <laughs> that he was not interested in what you were going through? I would love to know about it in the comments. They call on me, they call on me, I call on you. They put they trust in me. And here is our song for the day. They call on me, they call on me, I call on you. They put they trust in me, I put my trust in you. Whatever do happens, I put my trust in you. Whatever do happens, I put my trust in you. What was me? I am such a mess, but you made him without sin become my righteousness. While I was deep in sin, you was creeping in. Lord, only you know the secrets I got deep within. Give me the answers, help me not to speak in error. I seek your face and press so I can hear your voice clearer. And as you fill me up, I pour it back out. Fully committed to worship until I pass out. I ain't caught up on the fame or the accolade Cause all of that can fade in. I don't do the masquerades I'm a man, so you can doubt me As long as they trust you Cause they ain't even about me Whoa. They call on me, they call on me I call on you They put their trust in me I put my trust in you Whatever do happens, I put my trust in you Whatever do happens, I put my trust in you Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And hit that notification bell. It really does alert you when we post. If you were blessed by today's lesson, give it a thumbs up. 
and let us know in the comments your answers and thoughts from today's chapter. I'll be looking out for your comments. Bye.